So I recently got a line on a pair of uh, KRK V8 Series 4, uh, right, uh, these speakers right back here, some right there, uh, that I uh, got from uh, a local guy, and um, they sound absolutely fantastic. However, when I was mixing, I noticed some very strange low-frequency artifacts um, that were completely unexpected, um, mostly happening when I had, say, cymbals going through a high-pass filter. Um, so as the cymbals as you'd imagine, should just go mostly for the tweeters when you're cutting it off anything over, you know, um, 5K. But I was hearing low frequency information, specifically stuff coming out of the, out of the port, which I thought was rather odd. Um, at first, I tried to see if it was something with my setup, and I, I tested it on multiple things, and I, I tried different sources. I thought that it, perhaps it could have been my, um, uh, my, my, mic, my mic pre's here that might have been giving me some, some issues, but no, it turned out it wasn't that. I was able to drive these with a, with a different source, and with a different source, it was doing the same sort of thing. So I decided to do a more extensive test um, by uh, running um, a test oscillator uh, through Logic and basically doing a slow sweep from um, down from 30 hertz all the way up to uh, 16k and I have a mic set up down right by the uh, by the woofer port so you could actually hear the phenomena that's going on. So we'll start with the low frequency of course. So it's picking up that no problem. And it seems to behave well up until we get to around um, 200 hertz. starting to hear some weird things here. You can hear a sub-frequency from the 150. And now you can hear the instability. There's a really bad one right there. And then when I lower the volume, there it appears again. If I increase the volume, it disappears. there That's a really bad one right there at 37, 3.7K, strange. And there's a particular bad one at 16K. Go above it, nothing. 16K, 15.5, nothing. Strangest phenomena. Now, I, I 
I contacted KRK um, uh, uh, via social media and then they uh, gave me a, a number and an extension and I had what could possibly be the most bizarre uh, experience I've ever had with um, dealing with you know a company in terms of their customer service it was uh, absolutely insulting and dismissive um, I, I tried to explain the problem and uh, the individual um, that answered the phone and I, I realize it's not likely representative of the company it just happens to be the the, the clown that was on the phone there uh, suggested that uh, I'm just hearing things differently um, which I thought was rather odd um, then uh, I, I tried to explain what the problem was cut me off um, basically said that the speakers were working within uh, standard parameters that they're working um, what are the chances of both speakers doing this and you know I tried to explain that there is a sounds like there's an issue with the internal crossover which he interrupted me and says there's no crossover in these I'm like but they're bi amp speakers they have to have a crossover because there's a tweeter and a woofer and you have to separate the frequencies and yeah it's not necessarily an analog crossover as in the old days it, it might be a, a DSP driven one but it's still a crossover uh, and there are still analog components <laughs> within the speaker itself because um, you have to actually convert the digital signal ultimately to an analog one. But anyway, um, he was quite defensive and then hung up on me. So uh, then I tried to contact them again via their Facebook page and no response. So I uh, I, I have to admit that that, that is um, a bit disappointing. Um, that I I I, the, I was not even able to communicate with a um uh, with a with a technician. So uh, my next step is to see if I can actually circumvent uh, this particular gatekeeper and see if I can actually get in contact with somebody at KRK, uh, in the, uh, the the design or technician or an engineer, see what possibly could be happening. Um, I mean the speakers do sound amazing, like <laughs> the best sounding speakers I've ever heard in my life. However, this low frequency artifact is so distracting that it makes it really difficult, especially if you're just monitoring something with high frequency. And then it's not just, you know, ultra high frequency. When when you're listening to a voiceover or tambourine or something like this, it's it's producing these artifacts in the woofer port, which I feel for, you know, a uh, $2,000 pair of speakers, um, that shouldn't happen. Um, but it is. And I'm just... Uh, hoping that someone can give me some advice on uh, how to repair the problem because I really, really do love the speakers otherwise, but this low frequency artifact, really, really, really distracting. Anyway, so um, if anyone has any suggestions of where I can proceed from here, it'd be greatly appreciated.